Welcome to Heat Check, powered by Defunct.com. These are the highest selling vintage t-shirts on eBay over the last two weeks. Let's see who made the list. Starting us off at number 10, we have the Deadstock Liquid Blue Weapon X t-shirt. Uh, this is not officially connected to Marvel or Wolverine at all. It is just sort of a random art, but people do associate it, and it is freaking cool. We haven't seen this t-shirt on the list in a, like a long time, maybe over a year. Uh, but this one is dead stock, so that makes it all the better. Uh, this is one of my favorite t-shirts. I think it's like just one of the coolest t-shirts out there, to be honest, that Liquid Blue ever did. Um, I'd love to ask uh, Paul from Liquid Blue what he thinks about this and get some thoughts, and maybe we will at some point. Uh, but this t-shirt sold for $1,000. It deserves it being dead stock, that's for sure. Next up at number nine, we have the 3D emblem Easy Riders Brothers in the Wind biker tee. Pretty beat up. Looks like it's fairly worn. Uh, there's some like pit stains and all kinds of other wear, which is like, I mean, this is kind of surprising. Um, of course, something from like 86, like a rare 3D emblem like this is always going to go for a lot of money. Uh, but, uh, you know, fairly rough condition, all things considered. Uh, this one actually sold for $1,005, so just barely beating out number 10. Then next up, we have the Nirvana in Utero, a t-shirt we may have to retire pretty soon. Uh, but uh, this one is really, looks like it's in great condition. It's hard to say if there's yellowing or not. Sometimes these photos with whites just don't do very well. Uh, the seller here, Zipper JJ, also sold, made the list last week or two weeks ago, um, selling uh, a t-shirt, another, another Nirvana t-shirt he got. Um, it looks like maybe the same same no maybe not the same but he also includes the ticket here uh, as provenance um i think the last week we had a, a rare nirvana like bootleg from like ohio i'm not sure if this is the same place um but it's one of the more generic tees it does have a few little small spots um but anyway this t-shirt is awesome excellent uh sold for 1025 dollars with three bids then we have the flaming lips Oklahoma City concert size XL. Uh, I guess this is uh, this is from the concert. Looks like he was like he bought it. In fact, I looked it up. Silver Fox Records. He's actually selling a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of vintage band tees. Uh, so uh, I believe uh, he makes multiple appearances on this list, and this is his first one. The Flaming Lips here. Let's take a look at the backside. I don't think there's anything specifically connected about this shirt to the. Uh, concert, but he does include the information uh, as provenance. Um, yeah, look, you got all this good stuff here. But yeah, it looks good. Yeah, the, the, lots of good description here. I don't know if that's the AI. You got to watch out for the AI uh, descriptions. But anyway, great shirt. Flaming Lips always does well. This one did well as well and sold for one thousand and fifty dollars. Then we have the Nirvana Insecticide T-shirt. This one is always on here again. Uh, we may have to have a conversation pretty soon about some of these uh, more uh, standard Nirvana tees that are just going to go for a lot of money. That's just the way it is, but uh, we don't need to see them every week, so we may retire them. We'll see. Uh, this one uh, sold for $1,100. Uh, I don't think there's anything particularly special that we haven't seen already in a uh, many of the other um, heat checks, but either way. Good sale. I mean, this t-shirt is great. Not my favorite Nirvana t-shirt, but it always does pretty well. Then we have the vintage Soundgarden Jesus Christ crucif uh, Crucifix t-shirt here. This one is fairly rare. We do not see this one very often. It's never been on the list as far as I'm aware. Jesus Christ pose. I uh, would love to have more pictures because there's just two pictures and not particularly good ones. Um, but crazy grail yep 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 size xl cool um this t-shirt's great t-shirt's awesome you're gonna have a hard time finding it super rare uh this one sold for 1250 all right then for a controversial one we've had this one on the list like maybe two or three times we have the 3d emblem harley davidson the south is where it's at t-shirts Obviously, somehow these guys are getting past the conf you know the Confederate flag ban and getting these sold. They're probably getting sold quick. These are fairly rare, and this one looks like it's in really good condition, all things considered. That I mean, you can kind of gauge the condition of a 3D emblem by the tag. 
uh, the tag picture would come up. Yeah, you can see the tag here is really, really, really crisp. So um, it must be really good condition. So um, price is firm. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. I, re I have received 20 messages about this item already. Yep, that is what happens when you post 3D emblem. That is for sure. Again, this one sold for $12.50. Then at number three, we have a tribe called Quest. Uh, we have not seen this t-shirt on the list before. This one looks like it's in great condition. Just a little bit of wear. It's a dope t-shirt, if I do say so myself. Midnight uh, Marauders, <laughs> relax yourself, girl. I love this. This is a great t-shirt. Um, looks like there may be a few issues here and there. A couple pinholes. But all in all, an excellent t-shirt. And that deserves to be on this list, and it is on this list and sold for $1,300. At number two, we have the Vintage Alice in Chains concert t shirt, double si uh, x ray double sided with tour dates. I uh, don't love these photos. I'm sure he's trying to get his little logo in there. Silver Fox Records on this list multiple times. He's selling a bunch, I guess, of his collection and doing pretty well. Uh, I do, if I do say my, myself, uh, this one, super cool t-shirt, rare Alice in Chains tee. Uh, there are the uh, tour dates in the backside. I wonder what Springfield that is. I'd imagine it was Springfield, Missouri, uh, which would have been cool to see. Uh, this was obviously long before I got to Missouri, but uh, on the Fruit of Loom, size XL, looks like it's in really good condition, all things considered. Um, would have liked, a, you know, maybe a little bit better pictures, but either way, great t-shirt, rare t-shirt. This one sold for $1,300. Now, before we get to number one, if you're going to spend a fortune like on one of these t-shirts on this list, make sure that it's authentic by using the legitimate app in the description below. Use code LOOPFAM for 25% off your authentication. Then at number one, this was number nine last week. Um, but this is typically what happens when a big t-shirt sells somebody else with that same t-shirt throws it up and people who didn't get a chance for it the last time it sh uh, popped up make big moves on it when the new one pops up. It's even possible that this one is the same t-shirt. I'm not entirely sure. I, I looked in to see if I can figure it out and I couldn't. Uh, but we have seen this one. We saw this one last week. This one looks like it's in just as good condition. Maybe even, oh well, no, there's a little, let's see, a little pinhole there. Um, yeah, great t-shirt. I've always t told you guys I, I love the Marvel t-shirts. Uh, I think they're I think they're gonna stand the test of time, at least as a collectible fashion piece. Uh, but this one's super dope. The Doctor Doom sold for eighteen hundred dollars. That is, I think, an eight hundred dollar increase from the previous time it was on this list uh, two weeks ago. So congratulations to uh, most brands for this big sale.